Good morning. How are you all today? Praise the Lord. I am delighted, and Pastor, thank you for the time. Delighted to have a moment with you uh, to talk about an event that you're going to do. I have an opportunity to experience here in just a few minutes. Uh, Diaconal Survey Ministry Tour. Kind of, what is in the world does that mean? But I'm really grateful to stand here on behalf of Tony and Roy and myself as deacons uh, in this wonderful body to, um, uh, to really thank you for being a body with servant hearts. Um, it shows in so many ways. Uh, I'll just, I just want to highlight real quickly the thought that um, I see you serving each other uh, all the time, and it really blesses my heart, even rallying around family needs um, and just so many things that you do. Uh, I'm grateful for this church. This church supports a ministry that I am so blessed to be a part of. It's called Hope Rising. It's a pregnancy resource center. And this church supports that, and I'm very grateful for that. Um, and I want to just give you a quick highlight on something. We have our Walk for Life coming up on April 27th. And if anybody would like to do something really fun called a Walk for Life, just let me know. I'm going to be doing it, and I'll, I'll be uh, uh, looking forward to that. But if you'd like to do that, too, it's an amazing time. And uh, it'll be at Huber Heights First Baptist Church. But that's an amazing thing, and I'm grateful for a church that believes in life. And, uh, and advocating for us, so praise the Lord. Um, I also wanna let you know real quickly about uh, something called uh, really a, a Miami Valley Deacons Network, if you will. And what we've done is we've kind of partnered with the five uh, area OPC churches to kind of, the deacons to kind of be aware of each other, aware of each other's needs and really collaborate should a need, a great need arise that we can help each other with. And that's an amazing thing. And so God has made a pathway for that. Our pastors have supported and advocated for that as well. And so that's in the background of a lot of things that might be happening. So disaster preparedness, there's any number of topics. Uh, even with the Dolly's family recently having the, their house fire, um, we were chatting amongst each other about ways we could support, you know, the Dolly's families and so forth. So praise the Lord for those kinds of initiatives, and I'm thankful to be a part of it. This, and also, I want to just quickly give you an encouragement, too. Our culture presents so many negatives, and I'm so grateful. Aren't you grateful for a church that really teaches the Word of God in a way that we can deal with the culture in a positive way and reflect the love of Jesus and keep to the Word of truth and live that out? Praise the Lord. Uh, I'm delighted to walk in and hear a pastor teaching on, on those very kinds of things. So glory to God. But our culture is in a really tough spot. Sometimes it can be discouraging looking out upon it. But I just want you to know, I believe with all my heart, God's kingdom is always advancing. And I see that all the time uh, in, our, in our little center called Hope Rising. We have four locations. We have a salvation bell. And as we, say, we share the gospel with every program, many times too with people who just simply come in, you know, for an appointment to where they just want a pregnancy test. A guy comes along. We'll share the gospel there too many times as well, but definitely in a program. But that bell rings. And what that bell ringing means is that someone at that moment has, uh, has declared Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. And they want their life to be turned around for him. So glory to God. The kingdom is always advancing. And I love to hear the bell ringing. And I want you to know that that's what I get the privilege to do at Hope Rising. And I'm so grateful for this body support. So now let's change channels for a second and talk about this diaconal survey tour that I've been talking about. I meant to bring a copy of it, but, but I, uh, I've got them downstairs. But I'll just hold up kind of a notional sense of many of you took a survey. Oh, some of you a year ago, some of you almost two years ago. And you identified skill areas that you might be willing to share with, with people within our body. You identified ministry interests as well, things like supporting disaster preparedness or um, helping stressed families in our community, various things. You had opportunity to identify things on that survey. Uh, not all of you have taken it, many of you have. And what's gonna happen this morning is an opportunity for those of you who, uh, who have identified particular skill areas to uh, reflect and represent those skills and for the rest of us to go down and see what God is doing in our midst. What skill areas are being represented? Who has those skills and is willing to share? And for, in a sense, we did that from a, how can we serve each other within the body and help each other with our, with our need areas? But I will also tell you that we're looking outward to the community too, because as we are settled and as our needs are being met, wouldn't it be great to look outward to our community as well and serve in some of these very same areas? So that's the, that's the vision going forward. But for today, you're going to have an opportunity to go down and see who represents very skill areas. I'm going to just let, uh, I think Pastor's going to pray here in a second, but for those who are part of the ministry tour, we're going to be down there behind a skill area. You can go ahead and leave right now if you'd like to and make your way down to a table. And you're going to see a few people moving, and uh, that's a grand thing. So you're going to want to go down and see what these people are up to and talk with them about, uh, about their particular interest area of serving. 
And so, uh, but basically going down, there'll be donuts and juice down there and so forth. So grab a snack and go look and talk to somebody. And, uh, and I pray you'll really enjoy this. I, I pray this will be an opportunity for us to kind of share uh, the things that we're willing to do to serve one another and also to encourage us uh, to do that very thing and also to make our needs met. May I encourage you? Uh, sometimes in my life, thank you, Phyllis, uh, in my life, I've had a hard time asking for trouble. I didn't want to bother anybody. Can anybody relate to that at all? I don't want to bother anybody. I mean, I just want to just kind of tough it out. I can do it, lean into it. But we really bless each other when we give each other a chance to serve one another. And so I just want to encourage uh, that heart as well, too. So uh, that's really kind of all I've got to say. Pastor, I think we'll release us, and uh, I'll be down there as well, too. Come down and, and, uh, and have some fun. Talk to each other, uh, share your gifts, your ideas, and uh, praise God. Thank you uh, for your hearts of service, Pastor. Thank you so much. Uh, so uh, just a couple uh, quick clarifications. The, <clears throat> the Walk for Life, what that does is it's raising funds for Hope Rising so that the pregnancy center can do what they need to do. So when you support Jim and his walk, or if you want to be one of the walkers, you would be helping that, that, that center. And then just real quick with this, the idea is that if you ever have one of these needs um, and you, you would like help with that, you just come to the deacons and they'll connect you with someone who has those gifts. So that's a tremendous thing I think that the deacons are doing is like, Assessing what are the gifts we have we want to give to others. And then when needs arise, we're all ready to go. We don't have to like, well, who can help with this? We already know, right? Um, and likewise, if you feel like you have gifts and you want to serve, you know, a lot of the ways in which we not just build up the body, but also create open doors for the gospel is through our love, right? So people know that you're Jesus' disciple by your love for one another. So what the deacons are doing is um, setting up these opportunities for showing love in very tangible ways. Um, and so um, just really encouraged by your leadership and for the leadership of the deacons. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. I should have clarified that for God. Just in my excitement, I'll preach faster. In my excitement, there will be there are blank survey forms down there if you'd like to do that. But there's something else about serving. I've actually been in contact with the Gospel Mission. Many of us serve on the Thursdays with the serving meal process and all that, the last uh, fourth Thursday of the month. But the Gospel Mission could use some additional help. There's two opportunity sheets down there. One is to go to Camp Jabez. Uh, there's a specific date, June 1st, a sign-up sheet. And there's just some Saturdays when they would appreciate, you know, five or so people coming, uh, rallying together to do some work at the mission itself, which is down on Burn Street. So there's a couple sheets down there as well, along with that diaconal survey. If anybody wants to go ahead and fill one out and be a part of that, that uh, group that Pastor just referred to. Pastor, Pastor thanks for your clarification. Yeah, thank you. So, praise God. Thank you. Yeah, let me just pray for uh, the deacons and for all of us as we strive to be faithful in service. Lord, thank you so much for giving a huge multiplicity and variety of gifts to your people. We are thankful that every single Christian is gifted by the Spirit in some way. And um, we are thankful that some of these gifts are very, very practical in nature. And we thank you, Lord, that we can now offer these gifts to you um, for the needs of the body and also um, for the good of our community. And we pray that as we love one another and as we love those in our community, that it would create open doors for the word of God. Um, that, Lord, this spirit-wrought work of love would be um, something that would trigger a hunger and a thirst in, in the hearts of people, especially those who don't yet know you, to, to seek the Savior. Indeed, many of us can think of... Um, times when we, we were not yet followers of you, but we were loved by those who followed Christ. Um, and we, we can think about how that softened our hearts. And we pray that that would be true through our ministry here in this church. We also pray, Father, that you drive away from us all um, self-sufficiency and um, desire to be independent from others and not wanting in our pride to trouble other people. Um, Lord, help us to be humble and to be willing to admit when we do need help, and to give our brothers and sisters the opportunities to serve us. Uh, for, Lord, we know that at the heart of the gospel is a confession that we need help. 
And Lord, we want to we want to go to you with our need for salvation, but we also want to recognize that you bless us um, in our other very practical needs, often through your body. And so we pray, uh, bless the survey tour now. Thank you for all the work of the deacons to do this. Thank you for their leadership. And thank you for all those who have already stepped forward to serve. And we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, you're dismissed to go downstairs for the survey tour. Thank you so much. And thank you, Jim, and all the deacons.